Mike, you've been, been through a, a training camp like this before as guys are trying to carve out their place in the league. How are you kind of approaching this camp? Um, you know, I think a lot of us are approaching it how we approach every day. Um, you know, everybody's trying to make a name for themselves, uh, trying to stay in and survive. So uh, we don't think we're treating this camp any different. I know myself personally, I'm coming in to attack it. Um, like it's my first day on the job, so um, you know, no, there's no difference in approach for me, that's for sure. This summer in, in Las Vegas, uh, you were behind the scene all the time, behind the bench, and, and saw that you guys were really into that. How important was that for you to be around with some of the new guys and, and to kind of teach them what you guys do here? Yeah, it was important. Um, I think it was important for the young guys, um, you know, obviously having a, a couple other voices, um, player voices to listen to and, you know, go to for advice, questions, whatever. But um, it was also important for us, you know, we wanted to get acclimated with the guys, uh, spend some time with them on the court as well as off the court, um, and just continue to work together throughout the summer. Um, you know, we could have been everywhere, all over the country, but um, I know a lot of us, we wanted to be all together in Vegas there, showing our support and also just get on the court together, getting better, um, continuing to build. So, Michael, I know you guys got out on the court for the first scrimmage today. Can you tell us a little bit how about, about how that went? Yeah, it was great. It was great. Um, you know, guys are guys are looking really good. Um, really high ceiling for for the young guys, and um, with the, the new additions, you know, I think I think we're really gelling well, especially for it just being the first day. Um, obviously, we've been around each other for for a couple of weeks now, but. Um, being the first uh, first live action day at the training camp, we were all really excited, and I think we all really enjoyed it. I think we're, uh, we're really meshing and coming together well. Yeah, Steve talks a lot about the, the good vibes coming from this group. Is that something that, that you see too? For sure, for sure. There's great vibes, um, great energy in the locker room, and um, from the minute you walk into the building, you can feel it. Everybody's excited, uplifting each other. Um, and it starts from the top down. You know, the older guys um, they lead they lead us in the, in that regard. And you know, I feel like uh, going into every day, every practice, the energy is high. And it's our job to keep it that way the entire practice, and I think we're doing a good job of that. Mark, in what ways does it, does it feel different with the new, I guess you can say, the changes to the coaching staff? You made some changes in player development and assistant coaching. What's different? What feels different? Uh, you know, just a couple of new voices. Um, obviously, there's a, there a little bit of uh, shuffling, changing um, in the coaching staff and in the locker room. Um, and, you know, I think it's been, it's been healthy, um, you know, having good, um, positive, Reinforce voices, um, you know, hearing, hearing new opinions, uh, new energies. It, it's been really good, you know. I think uh, everybody's meshed well, like I said, and we've all really enjoyed each other up to this point. You know, I think we're, we're looking forward to continuing to do that. So are you cool with having another Canadian around in Jama? <laughs> Man, am I cool? Uh, Jama, Jam, I know Jama for a long time. Um, you know, I, when I my first year pro, I played uh, summer league, and he, he was a coach on our staff, and. Um, obviously, he coached over in 905, um, and you know, every summer it seemed like we were talking, figuring out like you know what, what the next move was. Um, so when he was thinking about coming over here, um, I was actually working with the Team Canada guys over with the Raptors facility. So he was over there, uh, pulled me to the side and asked me, you know, what do you think about this? Uh, how's the fit? How's the culture over there? Um, and you know, we had a great conversation. Um, I could tell he was really looking forward to getting down here and meeting with the guys. Um, and he, was, he had a great energy about it, really excited. Um, and you know, obviously, I was. I was definitely uh, twisting his arm a little bit to, to come over this way. I told him the weather's good, um, the staff is good, players are easy to deal with. So, um, yeah, anytime we're adding another Canadian, you know, I'm a little happy. Yeah, finder's fee. Finder's fee? Yeah, I got to collect. I don't know who I got to talk to about that, but I definitely got to collect my, uh, my little cheese off the top for sure. Michael, when a uh, player puts up the numbers that you have, you get known as a shooter, but Coach Perry also talked about your ability to finish on the break and live body. Do you feel like you maybe opened up some eyes around the league to some other things that you can do? You know, I hope so. Um, you know, I think that's my job to um, not only establish myself as a shooter, but just an all-around basketball player in this league. Um, you know, my whole goal is to, you know, continue to prove that I belong. Um, and that's something that I, I approach the game with each and every day. Um, there's a long journey, obviously, to, to get up here. Um, and, you know, it's, it's my job to, to bring everything I have every day to continue to prove why I'm here, why I deserve to be here, um, and continue to establish myself every day. And that's, that's something I come in with, you know, every time I get a chance. Is the approach, as you mentioned, just to show that you're an all-around player, or are there individual you know, or specific things that you go into each season and say, hey, let me show this as well? I mean, it's, it's really to show that I'm an all-around player. Um, but honestly, um, you know, obviously you're always looking to grow and get better. Um, so, you know, during the off season, oftentimes you'll focus on things that uh, might be called weaknesses. Um, you know, you want to turn those things into strengths so that they can't be used against you. So, um, obviously, there's things every off season that you work on. You sharpen up the skills that you're really good at. Um, you focus in on the things that you can continue to improve on. And, you know, we, I think we had a great off season. 
collectively improving on those things um, and really you know, sharpening the sword each and every day against each other. Um, that's why I was so glad to be able to get back early. And a lot of us been here for you know six, eight weeks. Um, felt like it felt nonstop, but so did the growth. It felt nonstop. So um, that was something that's really positive over the last few weeks, and will continue to, to increase and continue to be a good thing for us. Anything else from Michael? Cool. Hey, I miss seeing you guys, man. We're, we're in person. We're back. For, for sure. We'll have Langston up here shortly.